Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, I'm doing some homework right now. Yes, I'm official college kid, always doing homework. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to do. A, excuse my hair. I just pulled it in a ponytail. Let's get all my nerves. Um. So yeah, today. I came with another review. This is my second review I did one last night on the Revlon lipsticks. I don't know if they're the newest ones, but yeah, you should check that out. I just did two lipsticks. So, yeah. Today I have blush. Yes, ladies, blush in the type of blush brush I use. So, yeah. Okay, first off, I'm going to start with this um, L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. This is what it looks like. It's in color uh, Spice Plum. That's what it looks like. what it looks like right there there we go so yeah that's what that looks like and um oh that's too much light and that's not enough light <laughs> okay whatever I just want to give you like a decent color payoff there we go. It's like a it's like a plum color with like shimmers of like gold. And I really like it. Um I picked it up because it was the darkest blush that they had that day, or I don't know if this is the darkest blush in the collection. But when I went, I got this at Publix. When I went, this was the darkest one they had. So I picked it up because I'm very dark skinned. So I picked it up so I wouldn't be walking around looking like I got some ashy cheeks or something. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's really, really pretty. The color payoff is really good. I don't wear a lot of blush because I just don't. But this, I just put on my concealer under my eyes. This is like 12 hour makeup. I've had this on since this morning, you guys. So. Just take it like that. See? And it goes like perfect with my skin tone. I think at least. <clears throat> so that's what that looks like. Um, next are these Lancome. Oh yeah, this does come with a mirror, and I've had it for a while now, and I just now realized like two weeks ago I had a mirror. Like, I knew I had a mirror, but I forgot, and then I was playing around with it, and I was like, oh, that's what that clip is there for. And it comes with this brush, you know the brush that comes with every blush? It's like that really angled brush. I hate them, so... I don't use the brush. It just sits in there to look pretty, but that's what that looks like. So I do recommend this, especially for dark skin um, girls like I. It's called True Match Super Blendable Blush um, in color Spice Plum C78. So, yeah. Next is the Lancome blush. I've had these for a while, you can tell. It's like a cream blush, really. I have one in a... I don't know how to say it. Tolly or Toll? Toll? T-U-L-L-E? 
It's number U146. And the other one is Boe. Boe. Or Boe. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> these were my mom's, and she doesn't use them anymore. So, I can't tell you a price. But knowing Lancome is probably overpriced. You can find good blushes at Publix like I did. Because I barely use these, and I use the other one every day. But I just wanted to show you. This was Moray. It's like, oh, crap. My nail got in there. Freak. Okay, that's what it looks like. Hold on. You see where my nail just went in there. But yeah, it's like a plum color. There we go. That's what it looks like. And this is the Tully or Tole. They're almost the same color, but more is more plum. So that's what that one looks like. And they're just cream shadows. So when I use them, so probably three times I have used them. Um I usually I just put my finger in there and just dab it on my face and then blend it out. I don't use my brush because then it'll get my brush all sticky and blue. And next is the the brush I use for blush. I got this from my friend because she had like three of them and I just took one. And then I told her I took it and she said you can have it. But it's from Echo Tools. You can find this at um, Target, Target. Walmart. I don't know if you'll find it at CVS or Walgreens, but I know for sure they have it at Target. They might have it at Walmart. Um, at CVS, they do have a, a brush line called Essential Something. I forgot. But a lot of my brushes are from CVS and Walmart. But yeah, this is from Echo Tools. And I like it because, first of all, it is so soft. Like, it's like really dome shape. The shape of it is really nice. It's like the perfect shape for blush. I'm sure you can use this for powder, like your um, fluorescent powder. I had when I couldn't find my fluorescent brush that one time, I did use this. So you can use it too. But to me, I like longer um, bristles when it comes to powder. I don't know why I like longer, thinner bristles because to me, this is a thick brush. Like, this is really thick and compact. So, if you put, and I'm dark skinned, and usually dark skinned people, you put on powder, it tends to make your face look a little ashy. And this would kind of do that because it's so compact, it'll pick up a lot of product. The brush that I use, it doesn't pick up a lot of product. The bristles are kind of thin and longer. Um, and it's not as it's not as much bristles. So this is perfect for blush because it's compact. And you can get enough product for like two swipes. At least for me. I mean, some people say it's never enough blush. But to me, I think there's a limit. So this is what I use for blush. I do recommend it. I can't tell you the price because, like I said, um, I got it from my friend. Um, and these... That's my mom talking in the background. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, hit me up if you need any reviews on anything. Um, if it's drugstore, I might just have it. I do have a review coming up on nail polishes. I am like, I'm full of nail polish, you guys. So, yeah. Bye, you guys.